Hi all, I'm uh, Rick with Brewhouse, and we've had several people asking for a, a little video tour of our warehouse, so let's uh, take you to show you where all the action happens. Uh, we'll start, nobody's sitting here at the moment, but uh, where the order processing uh, goes on, as well as Mary taking care of all of our uh, web, uh, SEO, Facebook, the whole bit. You won't see her because she's on the other side of the camera. Hi. <laughs> And uh, as you know, many of you already know, we have two sides to the business. This side over here uh, is where we stock a lot of the individual hot sauces for, uh, for packing the smaller orders. And uh, Don over here, this is where we do a lot of the, the labeling for the hot sauces, private labeling as well. And uh, some orders that are just preparing to go out. On this side here is just uh, my office and uh, washroom and we have on this uh, uh, again just more more inventory for pulling the smaller orders uh, that's our side and then we keep the, the brew house a little bit separate uh, keep separate pulling areas for for the different orders uh, and most of this is just kept out front for Pulling the smaller orders, individual orders, uh, small store orders. And then when we get back into warehouse, it is literally just uh, overstock of items. It's not area for, uh, for lunchroom, uh, but primarily overstock. And when we're pulling large pallet orders, store orders that are maybe on a pallet, uh, boxes for packaging, and cold room that we keep all of our yeast, yeast products, things, molasses that need to be kept cool, keep it in there, it's temperature controlled. Welding area, not a uh, fancy area, but we can meet our welder. No, you can't. <laughs> Roman is not here. Uh, this is where all the, the welding is done. He takes care of basically all of the, the welding, uh, the cutting, drilling, all of that is done by somebody else uh, the welder we've got is, is fantastic so we want to keep him focused just on on that side of things um, again just spare inventory some of our packaged products once we package them we bring them out here make them a little more accessible for them to, to pull and uh, some of the shipments go out through this side most of our shipments will actually come and go through this side of the warehouse we've got a little bit more space to do things, uh, some of the welding parts that they have to uh, finish polishing, pressure testing, and then the rest here is just stacks of, again, overstock, extra stock, um, when we bring in product, and there's a welder woman, hi, <laughs> and uh, again, the, when it comes to the Cutting, polishing, testing, that is all done here, primarily by Melvin. Hi. <laughs> and uh, just again, stop. And we get back into, onto this side. Uh, on this side we have, we're an actual uh, Texas licensed food manufacturing facility. Uh, so we have an entire area that is devoted, uh, closed off and devoted to packaging any of the food goods, the grains, anything that is uh, food related that we have to open and package down, it's all done in a confined space. Uh, the first portion of the, the area here is devoted to that, to the packaging of product. And then the back uh, half of that area, uh, including the, the second room, is all for uh, yeast manufacturing, uh, mixing, packaging the yeast, and uh, the, so the equipment out here is actually what we use for packaging that uh, nitrogen generator and, and packing machines. Um, we try and keep the, the room as clean as possible. Those will get put in and sterilized depending on which machine is being used for which product. That is, other than uh, extra inventory, that's about the extent of our, our location. Uh, it's, it's not uh, fancy, but it certainly serves a purpose.